Hello, my dear kids. How are you? Hope all of you are well and healthy by the grace of Almighty. I am also fine and fit. You know, the whole world has been passing a very pandemic situation for COVID-19. And we stay at home. And our school is closed. When our school opened, we have to sit for our exam. And that's why our government has taken proper steps for the students to keep the students with the touch of their teachers so that they can complete their syllabus, so that they can continue their studies, so that they cannot waste their valuable time, and so that they can sit for their exam. And that's why today I want to take you an online class. My dear students, my today's online class is for class Seven, my dear students, please enjoy the class, my dear students. Please enjoy, my dear students. Welcome to my online class on behalf of Jia High School, Kalishpur, Kolna. Okay. Please enjoy the class, my dear students. This is Anamika Gai, assistant teacher, Jia High School, Kalishpur, Kolna. Our today's lesson is English second paper, class 7 and unit 1. What can you see here in the picture, my dear student? Oh yes, my dear student, here are some parts of a bicycle. Here is seat, here is brake, here is pedal, etc. Okay, here are some parts of a bicycle. All the parts make together a bicycle. And individually, they are the parts of a bicycle. Okay. Our today's lesson is related to that parts. My dear students, here is another picture. And here is another picture of a picture of the human body part. Here are some human body parts, and all the parts make a human body. Here is I, here is in, here is it, here is seven, and here is class. And here is a sentence, I read in class seven. And I is a word, read is a word, in is a word, class is a word, and seven is a word. Okay, my dear students, but they are the parts of a sentence. So our today's lesson is parts of speech. They are the parts of a speech. Today's lesson is parts of a speech. Please write down the today's topics, my dear students. My dear students, here is the definition of parts of a speech. Please write down the parts of, definition of parts of a speech, my dear students. Every single meaningful word which we use in a sentence is called a parts of a speech. Okay, understand, my dear students? Please enjoy the video, my dear students. Here is a video, and the video is related to our today's lesson. My dear students, please enjoy the video. Very enjoyful. My dear students. Let's learn the eight parts of speech. Let's learn the eight parts of speech. They'll help you write and to read. Let's learn the eight parts of speech. Nouns, pronouns, verbs, adverbs, adjectives, conjunctions, prepositions, interjections. Now let's learn their functions. A noun is a person, place, or thing. Animal, idea, almost anything. Like a teacher, schoolyard, or basketball. Cheetah, love, or the season of fall. A pronoun takes the place of a noun and sentences. You see them all around. Like she had a party, he went to school. I play soccer. They swam in a pool. A verb is a word that gives a sentence action. What's going on or what's the main attraction? Like the dog walked, the runner jogged, the car sped, the dancer clogged. An adverb describes an adjective, verb, and such, and tells how, when, where, how often, how much. Like he ran quickly, school starts soon. My teacher always eats lunch at noon. Let's learn the eight parts of speech.
speech. Let's learn the eight parts of speech. They'll help you write and to read. Let's learn the eight parts of speech. Nouns, pronouns, verbs, adverbs, adjectives, conjunctions, prepositions, interjections. Now let's learn their functions. An adjective describes a noun or a pronoun like that's a big house. I have a small dog. I saw a ferocious lion. They make reading and writing more exciting. A conjunction is a word or words that connect words, phrases, or clauses. Get it? Like Ella was early and Lisa was late. The dog wanted dinner but had to wait. A preposition tells time, place, or position. Connecting words is its main mission. Like Josh ate breakfast before school. My friend who sits beside me is cool. An interjection expresses strong emotion. It's true. Like wow, hey, yeah, ooh. They're used to make reading. Writing more appealing interjections express spontaneous feeling. Let's learn the eight parts of speech. Let's learn the eight parts of speech. They'll help you write and to read. Let's learn the eight parts of speech. There are eight parts of speech. How many? Eight parts of speech. You got it. Eight parts of speech. They'll help you write and they'll help you read. Yeah. My dear students, I think you have gathered much knowledge about parts of speech from the video. That is very enjoyable. Yes or no? Oh, yes, my dear students. Thank you. Please enjoy the class. Welcome to my online class on behalf of Dia High School, Kali School, Kulna. My dear students, please enjoy the class. Now, the classification of parts of speech. You, we will discuss about the classification of parts of speech. My dear students, now you ready with your textbook and your notebook and your pen. Please write down the classification of parts of speech. Parts of speech is of eight types. Noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. Okay, my dear students, understand? Please write down. First one is noun. Here is a picture of, oh yes, my dear student, it is a picture of Dhaka city. And it is farmer and pencil. The definition of noun. Write down the definition of noun, my dear students. Noun is a person, place, or thing is called noun. Okay, my dear student, here are some examples of noun. Dhaka, farmer, worker, house, pencil, etc. Okay, my dear students, here is a sentence. Anika reads in class 7. Here Anika is a name, so it is a noun. Okay, understand, my dear students? Next one is pronoun. The definition of pronoun is, pronoun is a word which used in the place of noun. Okay, my dear students, here are some examples of pronoun. He, she, it, they, you, we. Okay, understand? Here is a sentence. Here are two sentences. Profit is healthy. He reads in class 7. Here, profit is a noun. And he is used instead of profit. Understand, my dear students, that's why he is pronoun. And next one is verb. What is verb? Do you know? Yes, a word that tells what someone or something does. Okay, verb. Here is a boy and he is walking or running. Here are some examples of verb. To eat, laugh, run, jump, it is my dear students. Here is a sentence. He runs in the field every day. He runs in the field every day. Here runs is a verb. Understand, my dear students? And next one is adjective. Adjective is a word which is used to describe noun. Which is used to describe noun. Here are some examples of noun. Happy, short, sad, tall, red, fat, green, etc. 
all are the examples of now adjective here is a sentence my dear student she is very tall here tall is adjective understand my dear students adverb an adverb is a word or a set of words that modify verb adjective and other adverb understand my dear students oh thank you here slowly later now happily here loudly today all are the examples of adverb carefully fast never now happily it is here is a sentence she eats slowly here slowly is l o i it slowly is adverb preposition next one is preposition a word placed before a noun or pronoun to show the relationship to some other word is the sentence in the sentence is called preposition understand my dear students okay here are some examples of preposition over under in on in front of behind next to etc to at we for on by in from it is all are the examples of preposition the cat is on the table on is the preposition here on is preposition preposition understand my dear students okay thank you conjunction next one is conjunction the definition of conjunction is a word used to connect other words or sentences called conjunction understand my dear students please write down here are some examples of conjunction and but or because etc here here are two sentences i went home and ate lunch a here and is the connected of and is connected of two sentences and and is the conjunction the water is warm but i did not go swimming here but is conjunction understand my dear students and last one is interjection a word that expresses strong or sudden emotion is called interjection a word that expresses strong or sudden emotion is called interjection understand my dear student okay we are enjoying something oh fine here are some examples of interjection oh dear oh goodness oh of oh. here is a sentence Hurra! Our team has won the match. Their team has won the match. This is a cup. Here, hurra is interjection. Understand, my dear students? Okay. Here are some individual words, my dear students. Please ready with your notebook and pen. Write down, and the work will be do you individually. identify the underlined parts of speech my dear students here are some sentences and identify the underlined parts of speech here dog and here slow softly pardon is the house was red and small is small here and and coat on is the boy boy is finished in the the, the boy fished in the river here in and next one is mary finished her assignment here finish and last one is what type of parts of speech they are please write down my dear students your time is 5 minutes Please write down your homework, my dear students. Your today's homework is write two examples of this type of this type of parts of speech. Okay, my dear students. 
टू इज फॉर नाउन एग्जाम्पल टू इज फॉर प्रोनाउन टू इज फॉर भाग टू इज फॉर एडजेक्टिव टू इज फॉर प्रीपोजिशन टू इज फॉर कंजंक्शन एंड टू इज फॉर इंटरजेक्शन प्लीज राइट डाउन योर होमवर्क माई डियर स्टूडेंट राइट टू एग्जाम्पल फॉर इज टाइप ऑफ पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच ओके माई डियर स्टूडेंट ए बी थैंक फॉर यू प्लीज स्टे होम माई डियर स्टूडेंट and if you want to go to outside please wear mask and i will uh, see you again with my next class my dear students see you bye